Morning everybody. Tobin and Shanna here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. It's bright out here. When you have glasses on, reflex. So today, we're gonna do something a little different. We got a project to do in the house and we're gonna take y'all along with us. <laughs> the sun's reflecting. It is really bright. So I can't Let's face this way. Is it better this way? <laughs> Not for the this camera. Is better. So we're doing a shiplap wall on one wall, the smaller wall in our living room. We've never done shiplap before. We've done lots of DIY projects around our house. The shop right here behind you, or behind us, uh, we built that from scratch underneath this carport. Um, so we've done plenty of projects and carpentry work and stuff, but this is our first shiplap. So, but we've watched a few videos and Shanna is a, has watched every video of fixer upper so we're professionals so what we're gonna do is we got our little set we got the place set up out here to cut everything and then we're gonna take it in and put it up so I'll kind of walk y'all through what we're gonna do but I think the way we got it figured out to do it it's gonna be super easy so but again this is our first time so um, so we're gonna let me show you what we got set up here and I'll take you inside and show you and then I'm gonna show you my dog that I'm about to try to I'm about to give her away on a video she's wearing me out She's picking up the wood with her mouth. She's picking up the wood with her mouth. She grabs it and picks it up. Look, watch. She knows she's not supposed to be over there. I wish she'd do it again. When I looked over there, she had a whole two by four in her mouth and she was lifting it up. If y'all are new to our channel and don't know, she, Skylar is a conspiracy theorist. She always thinks that there's somebody or something of going to get us, and and they she like only hide under stuff. Yeah, she and she moves from like one thing to another around her yard. So that pile of wood and metal that she's digging in behind me, it was perfectly and neatly stacked there two days ago, and she's destroyed it. Look, see. Did you see her do it? Yeah, I got it on video. So all this wood and that metal was perfectly and neatly stacked a few days ago. I had all the wood underneath the metal and had the metal on top to keep the, the water off of the wood. I used all that barn wood on the very bottom to do the inside of my shop with. And I, I, I don't doubt that there's something underneath there, but there may not be. She's hoping you'll go over there. That's what she's looking at you for. Look at her. I may, I may give her away. No. All right, this is our outdoor setup that we got. I got my saw horses right here, set up to uh, we'll, when we do like small cuts. Got my big saw set up there to cut um, the full size pieces and. Yeah, so let's go inside and we'll show you what we're doing inside. All right, y'all, this is our living room wall that we're gonna put the shiplap on right here. Uh, Shannon has painted the entire house and this is the last, one of the last projects we gotta get done in the house. So this whole wall is gonna be shiplap. We're gonna do, it's a little less than eight feet on this side and a little less than four feet on this side. So the biggest thing we had a concern with was keeping the pieces straight and consistent across the door and I think we figured out how we're gonna do that another thing we had a concern with was the light sockets and extending those out we got a uh, solution for that so we're about to get started
All right, y'all, something I forgot to mention is, obviously you're gonna have to nail these into studs. So, some of these studs are obvious. This wall, is, we took a door out here, put, uh, took a sliding glass door out, and then put a, just a regular door in. But some of these, we can, I know where the studs are, and others, I'm gonna mark them. Mark them right here. So, and then we're gluing the ship lap, and then we're just nailing it on this lip to hide the nails. Guys, y'all probably already saw, but um, I want to make sure I include this part. We're using a, um, like I told you, we're only nailing along the, the strip that's going to be not exposed when the wall's finished so that there'll be no nail marks to worry about. And in doing that, um, it makes the bottom, you know, 90% of that board is not secured to the wall. So we're using just a, the so general purpose uh, liquid nail adhesive. So that's a pretty cheap insurance to make sure that those boards, uh, it, it, you, it's, it's supposed to it, it be ad adhere to any construction um, material. So that should be good insurance to help keep make sure it doesn't come off the wall. All right, y'all, so all I'm doing on these outlets is so I mark the edges of the box and I take my pencil and run a mark right here and it'll be on, it's basically right at the bottom of that there, but you can also mark on these. Don't stick your pencil in there. 
But uh, so I'm gonna measure from here to about right here. And that's how far down I'll cut on this side back here. So let me show you. Where I made my marks, just draw lines right there. We'll see. We'll go half an inch. That's not very much. close back to Home Depot for ship lap but we've got it about roughly halfway up got the outlets cut out the way we showed you that worked really good once we get up here above the door we're gonna have to um, connect two eight-foot pieces so and I think there's gonna be three of them that will need to be done that way and we'll just probably just stagger them the, the joints so glad that we used the the adhesive liquid nail I think that worked really good and then like I said we've got some pieces we're gonna trim it out with some quarter round and then some uh, pieces that we're gonna put on the ends right here to cover up those ends as well I was kind of in autopilot mode and forgot to show you all this part so I want to show you now real quick before we put it up so this last piece that runs across up here this wall is it somehow it's pretty bad out of square which this is an older house so I'm not surprised but so we're going to kind of modify it as it goes across but the piece on this corner back here what I did was the this piece right here I I cut that off so it's gonna go up here it's gonna lock in on this lip right here 
and then when it goes up here there's gonna be a little bit of a gap hope that makes sense so it'll lock in here and then it's gonna go up here and there's gonna be a little bit of a gap and then we're gonna cover that up with the quarter round that we bought so as you can tell on this side right here that's where that lip would be but I just went down and cut the whole thing off with a jigsaw and now we're gonna glue it in place and then try our best to nail it a little bit Alright, got the whole wall finished with the shiplap. Now I just gotta trim it out. I'm gonna start on that tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it, but we're gonna try. So we're gonna trim out around the door with the angle piece, and then we're gonna trim out on the sides and the top with quarter round. Mm -hmm. 